right. Where are we headed? Flagpole? Flatpole or flagpole? Flagpole. Flagpole. I don't know where it is. It's out, so we're going to go through Harris Harrisburg. Meet up with Herb from Trail Tech. We're gonna camp. It's gonna be cold tonight. Yes. What's the temperature supposed to be? A little freezing by a good bit. Yeah. 23? In the 20s, yeah. <coughs> so, we just left the REI and got you a new bag. Yes. And now we're finally on the road in earnest. Running late. Camping tonight, tomorrow we're connecting with some other folks, and uh, I think we should have about a dozen rigs. And uh, we're gonna make the run up flagpole. Have we been there before? We've never been there. Okay. Yeah, we've not. That's one of the trails we've not done in Virginia. So, which is kind of amazing because of all the years of doing the Jeeps and everything, there's plenty of trips we just never happened to make one going there. Yeah. So, not super, super technical from my understanding. But it'll be fun. We could hang out with everybody. Anyways, so we're going to head down here to Harrisonburg and um, pick up her, meet him. He's at a volleyball tournament or something. And um, we'll, we'll get there. I guess we'll... Uh, Do you have camp picked for today? Do you know where we're camping? We do know where we're camping. I can't remember the name of it. It's a quarry. Quarry? 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 Go out the quarry? I think so. Yeah. Well, something quarry campground. Okay. But, uh, anyways, if there's enough light, maybe we'll, uh, you know, do some droning. Do some droning. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. All right. So, home quarry? Home quarry. Hone Quarry. Hone Quarry. Hone yeah. Quarry is where we are. So we got here, we met up with her uh, down in Bridgewater, and um, we got to the campground. No camp spots. So. Herb know. has been coming here quite often and said he's never seen more than two cars there. Yeah. And Tonight, every, nothing. Everybody. Yeah, he says it's all full. So I don't know what that's all about. So we're going a little further down this uh, road. Like I said, I've never been here before, so I don't really know what all is going here. But um, we're going to see if we can't find a place to camp up here. And now we're going to roll up here and roll our window down and talk to Herb. Let's see what Herb has to say. What do you think? I don't know. I know there's some like way up in there you could, we could probably do, but... How far are we from the top of Flagpole if we went that route? Like, how long would it take? Uh, we could probably be up there within an hour. And then what will we do in the morning? Well, we could go... If we go up to where we're going to meet them and then go in a little ways, we might be able to find a place there to camp without... I mean, Flagpole's right there. Okay. But you got to go around your ass to get there. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. There might be some place up there that's flat enough we could just kind of pull off and wedge in. Okay. That'd be like overlanding instead of camping, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be a little more like what we're into. <laughs> okay. Try it. All right, yeah, that's like fine. We just got to go back out to the road and hang a right and then it goes up the mountain. And then we'll be already where they're coming through. What time were they coming through? It was like. God, they weren't coming. It was like late. Yeah, we weren't going to meet them until 10 30 or 11. Yeah. I mean, we could go for a hike in the <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Okay. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll do. Do you think you think there'll be some camping there? I I've never done that. Once what? we get out to signal, I can use some of my um. Like the I camp or something. Or the yeah. Overlander or something. Like I have that. like yeah. two or three that I can check. Um. Yeah, I know. There's. I mean, I know. When you, once you get off onto the the dirt road going up the flagpole, there's all kinds of like places to pull off and stuff. But I've never looked at them and thought, oh, I could camp there. It was just always, hey, there's a road there. It doesn't go anywhere. I'm keep driving. Yeah. Because we've always stayed down here. In February, when nobody else is coming up tonight. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be as cold as February tonight, I, I think. Uh, all right. What are all these people doing? They're hiking Fishing. somewhere? Fishing. Okay. There's a little dam right there. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, I know there's a couple of spots up through here. And I don't know how far up they are. and I don't know if there's anybody in them. But well, we don't know anything, so we're following your driving. lead. Yeah. Fortunately, we got up the trail a bit further and found a suitable camp spot and got down to the business of leveling our rig and popping open our tent. It got dark, it got cold, and we huddled around the fire herb built, sharing stories and trying to stay warm. When we couldn't fight the cold any longer, we headed off to bed. The next morning met us with crisp fall air, so we made quick work of breakfast and packing up camp so we could get on the move and meet up with the rest of the crew. Right, we got here last night. The campground we wanted to camp in was full, which Herb, our guy that is with us, and he has camped at this campsite many times before, said that's never happened. So on down the road we went looking for a site, and we found one, which was pretty good. Had two fairly flat spots for us, nice little fire ring, and um, got pretty cold last night, but I was warm. I got a brand new sleeping bag, and I think I like it. Uh, were you warm? Yeah, I was warm. You were like in a, I don't know, <laughs> an Eskimo igloo or something. <laughs> you were like puffed up and like you're, <laughs> I think you had three feet of sleeping bag on top of you. Yes, it's a very big bag. Um, but I was very warm. So I'm happy with that. Today we're going to, we're going to check out Reddish Knob first. Is that what Yeah, I think we're going to, so the guys that we're meeting up with, are, um, they still aren't going to be up to this area for about two and a half hours. So we're going to take just a little quick side trip over to Reddish Knob and um, 
And then uh, we'll after there we'll head over and meet up with the gang and head over to Flagpole. That's it. Yeah. I was outvoted. I wanted to go back to town and get breakfast. Yeah. Not happening, I don't think. No. And coffee. I didn't bring any coffee with me. No. I'll survive though. You should. You slept like 12 hours. Yeah, I sleep a lot. I like to sleep. <laughs> that was a long sleep. Well, it's a beautiful sunny day. It's a little bit nippy, but I think it's going to be a good day. Yeah. So this is Reddish Knob and I was going to take some drone footage but I crashed my drone for the first time in a really epic way. The gimbal is broken, one of the propellers was lost in the crash and the other one was ground down to nearly nothing. So we're going to go like this. There's some random car up here, no person with it, it's kind of strange. With the group assembled and lined up, we all took a few minutes to catch up with each other and grab some grub before hitting the trail in earnest.
All right, what do you think of Flagpole so far? I like it. Yeah? Yeah, it's got a good mix of East Coast uh, trail Scott riding. Scratches or work scratches? Yeah. Yeah, what do you think? I don't know, people talking about getting scratches in their rigs. It's a pretty tight trail. Well, that's East Coast for you. Yeah. No, it's been good, it's been fun. It's mucky, you know. I have to choose the lesser of two brambles. I'm not a uh, huge fan of uh, mud. Get a car no. for the next Especially the stinky mud. Oh, it got, smells really yeah. bad. No one ever. Yeah. So we got some cleaning to do when we get home. Hey, Jane, like the email. It's all right. Make sure my roof we'll right is good. Yeah. It looks pretty stellar from here. You will probably want to head right. Um. Next evolution of overlanding for us will include a jet boil so that I can have coffee. You can have your coffee. I know you. You got caffeine headache. I usually bring some, but I did not. Yeah. Nobody shared any with me this morning, so... You could get off of it. It wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, but... You know, be like me. Just be so energized, you don't need the caffeine. No. I've considered it. Yeah. I need to be drinking more water. I'm hardly drinking any water today. Yeah, it's cold. It is cold. Yeah, it's... 38? Uh, 38? Well, the car says 38. You know, that's usually a degree or two off, so it's probably just a little chillier than that. And it's uh, 218 with the clock rolling back, it would be 318. So we're pretty much late in the day and didn't get, I guess I got a little bit warmer than this morning. I don't know what I got bit. down to last night. I don't know. But anyway. Yeah. All right, well, rolling on. times before Baby, it's now or never Gotta leave this town and I know what you're asking for You say it's out of my reach But I can't pretend no
All right, Chandler, thanks, man. You put this ride together for everybody today. That was pretty awesome. We all had a good time, I think. I hope so, yeah. It seems like everybody did. Yeah. yeah. It's so. an enjoyable day. The weather blessed us nicely. So, yeah, can't complain about that. So, no, it was a good day. It was a good day. So, Toy RVA Otis. Yes. What's it about? Tell us what we're doing. So, we are Toyota enthusiasts based out of Richmond, Virginia. That's where the RVA comes into play. Toyota's around it, a little play on words, right? Yeah. That's kind of how that goes. So, just a group of enthusiasts and you know, like-minded folks like anything that burns fossil fuels at that point, the Toyota happens to be kind of the central piece, right? So whether it's Porsche days or track days or truck stuff or whatever happens to be, that's it. So friendly, small, family, close to Richmond. Yeah. That's just kind of what we want to be, right? It's a good group of people. It, it really is, is, it yeah. is. You know, we've, we've had our, our ups and downs in 18 months or so, but yeah, yeah we're coming about it. So yeah, it's good. Good stuff. It's good. All right. Anything else we should know? I think that's it. We're hungry. We're always hungry. Everybody's hungry. <laughs> no, there's no right. doubt about that. This is how we always end mm -hmm. all these days. It's time to eat. Yep. It's time to eat. It is definitely time to eat and get back yeah. to town. So. All right, good. man. Well, thanks again for having us. Not a problem. Always happy.